Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm back. You're probably wondering, what is he doing? But I'm going to talk about that in a second. It's your man, Solution, the sneaker aficionado, back with another episode. And I've been dying to do this review. I've actually gave a little preview on the uh, Facebook sneaker page. So if you're on Facebook and you're into dope sneakers, make sure you check them out. Uh, it's a lot of great people on there. I don't want to name too many names, but there's some guys on there really doing it, and some ladies. And I'm going to talk about one of them and uh, give her a shout out for inspiring me to find these sneakers. I was sleeping on some releases out there, and I keep touching these bad boys because I've been dying to do this, to put this on the uh, Sneaker Aficionado channel. And uh, people ask me about, when are you going to put those, uh, those deals on there? So, in keeping in character, I'm ready. It's go time. It's H hour, as you can see. All right. So this is dedicated to my brothers and sisters in arms, uh, veterans, retired, still serving, reserve, National Guard, whatever. This post is dedicated to you as a very hard hustle. And I know personally. So we're going to get into the SF Air Force One. Boom. This is arguably, in my opinion, the sneaker of the year. Check it out. It's just, it, it, it's an awesome looking sneaker. It's, Nike was inspired by their SFB book. Boot, excuse me. If you're familiar with that boot, especially if you're in the army, they had a, a desert tan boot version and it was really comfortable, very popular with soldiers. And um, they actually weren't authorized, believe it or not. I know personally because I sent out a memo about them. And I had a pair. I had a pair. I, I wore them in combat. And they held up pretty well. Um, not as rigid, I would like. But that's where the inspiration came from. I don't want to go off track. But as you can see, it's built around the uh, Air Force One chassis. You know, keeping the military terminology. Uh, the original Air Force One high, as you can see. But they added that uh, tactical canvas right here along the hill and up to the uh, the upper and it's got a really cool feature on here as you can see he's got these straps also inspired by military equipment right here and you flip it around it's got the uh, nomenclature plate or registration plate if you will and it's got all that wonderful information right there you can read it and I was really excited about this boot and the lady that this awesome woman that had <laughs> The female version of it, she had in Coyote Brown, which is a really dope colorway. Not the typical flax or wheat, as we call them, or butters, as we call them back home in Baltimore. Um, I am not from San Antonio originally. I just live here now, um, but it's still my city. You know, 210 to the 410, back to the 210. What's up? As I always say. But it was inspired by that boot, and she had a pair. And I was like, I want those. And she's like, oh, it's only the female colorway. And it came with the tactical bag. And instead of these uh, nylon military grade straps right here, military grade, someone's laughing about that, but that's what Nike says. Um, it, it had the 550 paracord wristband that some of us wore. I don't have one, I gave mine away um, when I was done with that life. It's just not something I like to wear while I'm out. I keep a very low profile of what I used to do. Um, but they they have that and so and I really like that and you could take those straps off and it came with the carrying bag with the the Molly fasteners on there. He's like, what the heck is Molly? But look that up and if you serve, you know what I'm talking about. But it had the attachments on the bag and you could do that. But the male version has these straps. So some of the pros to this sneaker: very good leather quality. This um, grained leather right here. Hopefully, I'm using the proper terminology. I've noticed in previous pairs of Air Force One. These don't crease as quickly because of the, the graining quality they have on here. The laces are the uh, paracord, 550 cord, as we called it, is um, on here as well. But you got to love it. Now, the one con is that these clamps right here, they don't stay put. But they look really good. These are really comfortable. Nike did their thing. So I'm not going to hold y'all up. Retailing at 165 I got these on discount for myself because I get a discount at uh, House of Hoops. So, get them out. <laughs>